Good morning, beloved. Peace be with you. Today on our gospel, we're just reminded of a very uh, good foundational principle we've touched on uh, in maybe the last month or this last month or so, and, and that is basically um, treating each other, treating one another um, as God either has already treated us or as we want him to treat us. <laughs> And so this really ties in very well with actually the, the new commandment that Jesus leaves with his disciples when he no longer says, love, uh, you know, treat one another as I treat you or love your neighbor as yourself. He says, treat one another, uh, love one another as I love you, as I am loving you, as I have loved you, as I will love you. Now we, it's no longer tr- good enough to treat each other as to love our neighbor as ourself. <clears throat> we have to love our neighbor as God is loving us. Uh, you can imagine just a, the, what would it take Peter to be able to approach Jesus and even ask him this question, you know? Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times, you know? He's, he could tell he's got a real pain in the butt in his life right now, huh? He's got a real person just being in a big old pain, constantly testing his, his patience, testing his forgiveness, testing his mercy, just testing him over and over and over. Peter's tired of this guy. You got anybody like that in your life? <laughs> you know, ever had anybody like that in your life? Uh, and Jesus just teaches him this foundational principle with this parable, um, that basic teaching. Before he even says the teaching plainly straight out, he teaches through a parable to love uh, each other as God is loving them. And so we look at that, you know, what's going on in our life, the people in our life, the situations in our life, and how has God treated us? You know, we, uh, it, we cannot, our salvation depends on this principle. We cannot expect God to give us anything that we're not willing to give to somebody else. We cannot expect God to treat us any certain way if we're not willing to treat others that same exact way. That's what uh, elsewhere in the Gospels, Jesus will say, uh, if you want mercy, go show mercy. <laughs> How can we expect God to show mercy to me if I won't go and show mercy to my neighbor? You know, so it's the same thing we touched on a few weeks ago when we asked the question, you know, how many of us get excited when people, when the pastor or the preacher starts asking for money, you know? And I said, yeah, nobody gets excited. Well, why not? Are we not willing, are we not eager to give with generous, thankful, grateful hearts? like we hope God is eager to give to us with generous, grateful, thankful hearts, you know? How can we go to our Heavenly Father and and ask Him for things, petition Him for things, if we have a bad attitude when somebody asks us for things and petitions us for things? So the same way that we want God to treat us, we have to be willing to treat other people. Our salvation depends on it. Jesus says elsewhere in the Gospel, if you do not forgive your neighbor, my Heavenly Father will not forgive you. And he ties it into the Our Father prayer, doesn't he? Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Forgive us in the same way we're forgiving others. So in other words, if we're not forgiving others very well, God is not going to be forgiving us. So heaven or hell, your choice. (laughs) Which one do you want? And it all depends, not even on your intentions and what you want inside, but depends on our our actions to each other outside. Foundational, salvational principle. So, this is how we have to look at these pain in the butt people in our life. (laughs) You know, who is like that in your life? If if nobody right now, then just thank God. (laughs) You know, they may come around later. Or what situations are happening in your life that are causing lots of stress, that are testing your patience, you know, testing your fortitude, testing your courage. And how would, how would you want God to treat that situation in your life? Or the other way to look at it is, how would, what does this look like in heaven? You know, does this situation exist in heaven? What would it look like? What would have to happen for it to be resolved because a lot of situations won't be happening in heaven, right? There'll be no gossip in heaven. There'll be no slander in heaven. There'll be nobody owing debt in heaven. There'll be nobody carrying grudges in heaven. <laughs> Everyone will have received forgiveness because they have forgiven in heaven. 
And so the same way that you think you would act in a situation in heaven, that's how we're being instructed to act on earth. Because the kingdom of heaven is here. And so Jesus says, start acting like it. So Father, we thank you so much for this hard truth to treat each other as we want you to treat us. And we pray you just open our eyes um, to be able to see this more clearly in a practical way in our life and to truly have the grace, the courage to change our actions, change our perspective, change the way that we are treating each other so that we truly can do like Jesus said and treat, treat each other as we want you to treat us. We just pray all these in, in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Let us stand together and offer some more prayers.